last Toyota RAV4 was all about utility, not so much style. This new one, well, we wouldn't exactly call it stylish, but it's definitely more distinctive. And the better news is, it really hasn't lost any of that utility. Let's start back here. The load floor is nice and low, and it's flat when you lower the back seats. Now, altogether, there's 73.4 cubic feet of cargo area, which is more than most competitors. Now, current RAV4 owners might have noticed something. The tailgate doesn't open out into the curb anymore. Nope, it goes up and down. Oh, slowly. You might not have noticed that there's no longer a third row seat option, but that's okay, no one really ordered it anyway. As it is though, this back seat, the reclines, quite a lot actually, and there's lots of legroom, but the seat is mounted pretty low and you don't get the same amount of under thigh support as you do in some of its competitors. Up front, this padded pleather section, it's nice to look at, nicer to touch, and the rest of the materials are you know, nicely average for the segment. But unfortunately, there's not a lot of storage spaces up here. You know, you have this big cup holder, but it's separated from the smaller one. And this weird triangle bin, it's kind of useless. The controls are big and easy to reach. And this standard touchscreen does a good job of doing complicated things like controlling Toyota's Intune smartphone apps. But you're more likely to appreciate how it does simple things like these radio presets. Now it allows you to mix and match AM, FM, and satellite radio. Kind of cool. This new RAV is fairly quiet. The ride is definitely comfortable. But this steering is very loose on center, doesn't really provide a lot of feedback, and in general, most of its competitors are better to drive. Pricing starts at around $23,000, which is a bit more than its similarly priced competitors. The standard rear view camera is a special touch, though, shared with the CRV. Now, a loaded limited tops $31,000. That's not bad, except that the leather's not really leather, and you're going to have to look elsewhere to get certain higher end features. There's only one engine available, a 176 horsepower four cylinder that produces average acceleration, yet strong fuel economy with 26 miles per gallon combined. That lowers to 25 with all wheel drive. It got four stars from the government for crash protection and was named a top safety pick by the Insurance Institute. The RAV4's continued mix of dependability and utility make it one of our top compact crossovers. But you'd still be smart to check out the engaging Ford Escape, the grown-up Chevy Equinox, as well as the jack-of-all-trades Honda The last Toyota RAV4 was all about utility, not so much style. This new one, well, we wouldn't exactly call it stylish, but it's definitely more distinctive. And the better news is, it really hasn't lost any of that utility. Let's start back here. The load floor is nice and low, and it's flat when you lower the back seats. Now, altogether, there's 73.4 cubic feet of cargo area, which is more than most competitors. Now, current RAV4 owners might have noticed something. The tailgate doesn't open out into the curb anymore. Nope, it goes up and down. Oh, slowly. You might not have noticed that there's no longer a third row seat option, but that's okay, no one really ordered it anyway.